guys, it's me Jake from JakeMan21642. Today I've got a video for you of this 2016 Ford Mustang GT Premium Convertible. This one is finished off in a deep impact blue exterior, which is just a beautiful exterior color. You can see coming up to the driver's side on this one, do have your body colored mirrors of course, and this one also is equipped with the optional blacked out badges and black wheels. You can also see up here, this one is equipped with blind spot monitoring. Do have your body colored door handles with intelligent entry on them right there. And give you a couple shots of the interior with the top down. This really is just a beautiful color combination. Around the rear, dual exhaust down below, and your rear diffuser down there. GT badge, of course, and your black lip spoiler on this one. On the passenger side, this one is riding on Pirelli P0 Nero Summer Tires, which these are fantastic tires and they're in great shape too. As you can see, they are 225-40ZR19, so 19-inch alloy wheels. Like I said, this one does have the blacked out alloy wheels on it and you do have your uh, wheel locks on them as well. And I just love this new body style Mustang so much. As you can see up front, you do have the projector headlights on this one, LED daytime running lights, fog lights down below, and your black pony on the front grille. Get in this one, it does include your standard Mustang key fob right here, with your Mustang logo on it. Lock, unlock, trunk release, and panic. And on the door itself, have the key fob with you, come up, grab the handle to unlock, and then just touch right here to lock. Inside, as I said, this one does have the black leather interior, which is in excellent shape and very, very clean. And to start it, all you have to do, foot on the clutch and press right here. And you can see, seat will automatically move up when you start the vehicle to its last memory position. We'll go ahead and bring the top back up, just press right here. Very fast and simple operation. Comes down, lock it into place, bring the rear windows up, and both of your front windows up. And just like that, you're all nice and sealed up inside. Key fob in the vehicle, as I said, and you're good to go. Inside, leather wrap steering wheel, of course, your audio system, cruise controls, um, all of that on the wheel, Bluetooth controls, and then this D-pad right here, which will coincide with that display tight power steering, and like I said, leather wrapped wheel. Door panel, rubberized up top. You do have padded leather around here with your stitching on the door. More of that. Your armrest as well. All four of your power windows, power locks up here, and your power mirrors down there. Memory seating controls. Storage down below. Over here are your headlight controls. Push for fogs, and then you have your gauge shimmer right there. This aluminum trim, which does follow through all around on the dash and looks great. Down here as well, we have a little storage compartment which actually looks pretty small, but it's got a decent amount of space inside of it. Dashboard itself is all padded stitched leather. You can see the tweeters right there and speakers down below for the shaker audio system this one is equipped with. Gauges in the middle do have your tachometer. Like I said, the display in the middle, which you can go through your trip statistics, fuel history, um, the gauge modes, and this being a GT Premium, it does have all of the track apps with your line lock, Brake performance, lap timer, launch control, all of that right there. All the fun stuff. And then like I said, you can just bring up different gauges. All the stuff like that. Your speedometer over there and fuel gauge. Turn signals, wipers, standard stuff. In the middle do have your three air vents up here. And down below, this one is equipped with uh, SYNC 3 since it is a 2016 model, which I have to say right now, SYNC 3 alone is worth stepping up to a 2016 model. This is such a fantastic system compared to my Ford Touch. It, it is hard to believe they are even from the same manufacturer. It looks clean, very easy to use, everything works as it should. You have your audio, AM, FM, CD, auxiliary in, uh, Bluetooth audio, satellite radio, all of that. Climate right here, dual zone automatic climate control of course. Do have heated as well as cooled seats for the driver and passenger. Phone, navigation, which this one is equipped with as you can see. Your different apps, things like that that you can connect to your phone, bring up on the display. And settings of course, all of that over here. Like I said down below, dual zone automatic climate control. You can control the temperature from right there. 
and it will pop up on the display. Heated and cooled seats. Down below, you have your hazards on and off, traction control on and off. This button right here, you can toggle between your steering feel, and then right here, you can toggle between your drive mode. All of that right there. Storage, your shaker audio system badge, power outlet, and a USB port. And this one is equipped, of course, with the six-speed manual transmission, which this is a wonderful gearbox. Nice and tight throws. It's very slick. It's notchy, but in a good way. And it just makes the car so much fun to drive. Pull up on the collar and go up. Reverse, which this one is equipped with a rear backup camera. Two cup holders, your parking brake right here. And back here, storage, uh, USB port right there, as well as a power outlet. And storage right here. Seats amazingly comfortable in this vehicle. They're buckets. You have the perforated leather in the middle and the stitching around the edges, all of that. They're just very comfortable. Up top, you have your auto dimming review mirror, interior lighting controls, um, as I said, your power top controls. And right here, you also do have your garage link. Step out of this one. Driver's side automatic window down. Unlock everything. Pop the trunk right here. And we'll go ahead and pop the hood right there. You can access the rear seat from this side. Just reach back, pull, and it will release the backrest. We'll give you a couple shots of this one with the top up, which as you can see, it is a black cloth soft top. It does look fantastic. And inside of the trunk, everything in here is nice and carpeted. All of that, you do have your uh, shaker audio system subwoofer over here on the side. Mobility kit right here, temporary mobility kit. So it does have your air pump, fix a flat, all of that for the tires on this vehicle. And up top too, all nice and lined. Back seat from this side. Once again, just access it right here. Pull, and it will move forward. And I mean, it's a Mustang. It's not something you buy as a people hauler, but you do have two comfortable black leather bucket seats in the back. Also do have storage on here. And I'm not going to get in for this video, but I can tell you I'm 6'2", and I can fit in the back seat of one of these, especially a convertible with the top down. You do have a partial power driver's seat down below on there. And inside of the glove box, this one does include your original lug nuts as well as your wheel lock key right there. And you do have all of the owner's literature and everything else of that nature included with this vehicle. And up front, projector headlights. You can see your LED daytime running lights and LED fog lights down below. And under the hood, and under the hood, this one does have Ford's 5-liter V8. You can see your strut tower brace from the factory right there. And everything under here is in great shape, running fantastic, of course. I do apologize if it looks like any of the LED lights or anything like that are flickering. It's just my camera. And this one does still have the stock exhaust on it, but you get a fantastic sound from it. Bring the automatic driver's side window back up, just like that. And just cut the vehicle off right here. Seat will automatically move back, as you can see. Move the key. And headlights back in automatic mode. As always, this vehicle is for sale at Volvo of Richmond here in Richmond, Virginia. If you are interested in this vehicle, please let Volvo of Richmond know you saw this video. Thanks for watching.